What are some of the objectives of software, software testing, right? Now, most of these, uh, some of these statements might overlap in one or the other, which is absolutely fine, okay? Because these points you can make in either of that, if um, in, in the importance or exactly in the objectives as well. So objectives of software testing is, the first thing is that it helps in preventing defect, okay? Now, because of your, or you being the tester in the team, you help in analyzing the requirement, analyzing the design document, analyzing the other documents that are available. And then based on that, you come up with the test scenarios. And that is kind of a input to other developers who are developing or the solution architects or the requirement who, whosoever business analyst. So in case there is a gap, they can right then and there fix it. Okay. So that helps in preventing defect. Then software testing determines that the software is fit for customer and end user. Okay. So it actually does what it's supposed to do right now when we say fit for customer or end user. So imagine you have a car. Okay. And the requirement says a car should have four wheels. Now as the software tester, you will ensure that the car, the four wheels should be at the right place and in right alignment for the car to move. Okay. This is what you as a tester will help to achieve. But if the, so if the requirement doesn't articulate well, where exactly the car should be, what should be the alignment? This is what you will identify as the tester that I am going to test that the car actually moves with the four wheels. Okay. And cars are uh, wheels are aligned at the right place, not at the roof of the car, right? So when we say fit for customer, fit for end user, then this is what testing ensures that yes, even though the software meets the end user or meets the requirement, which is fitting in the four wheels in the car, but they should also be fitted in the right place, not at any of the place, which is basically matching or uh, making sure the requirements are met, right? So software testing is not just ensuring that the requirements are met, but also ensuring that whatever requirements are there, they are met in a way that makes sense practically and it's fit for use to the customer and end user. Okay. And then software testing helps in finding defects, bugs, failure, any of that during the whole development life cycle. Software testing builds the confidence in the application because defects are fixed. Defects are found fixed during that whole software development life cycle. So the overall confidence in the application is also built and software testing reduces the risks because you have tested the positive flow, negative flow for your application. You know that the application actually works. If I'm going to do the registration of the student, I have myself as a tester gone through, put in the student application details, submitted the application and then ensured that the details are getting saved into the database. When I try to retrieve those student details, I am able to retrieve it. So when you have done it practically during the testing cycle, you obviously know that it's going to work in production, right? So it reduces the overall risk of that uh, thing that it's whether it's going to work or it's not going to work, right? That speculation will reduce. So this is about the objectives.